Hello, today I'm going to talk about condition of probability and intersection of events. First, we talked about condition of probability. Condition of probability of f given e can be written like this and we read it as the probability of f given that e has occurred or the probability of f given e. Now we talked about a special rule for computing probability of f given e by counting. If E and F are events in a sample space with equally likely outcomes, then probability of F given E can be written as number of elements in E intersection F or number of elements in E. Now we look at an example to calculate conditional probability using this special rule. Assume that we roll two dice and the total showing is greater than 9. What is the probability that the total is odd? The sample space has 36 equally likely outcomes. Let B be the event we roll a total greater than 9 and A be the event the total is odd. Now we can write the element in B 4, 6, 5, 5, 5, 6, 6, 4, 6, 5 and 6, 6. There are 6 elements in B. We don't need to write the all elements in A but it's enough to know the elements in the intersection A intersection B. So if you look at the intersection, there are two elements, 5, 6 and 6, 5. So to calculate probability of A given B equal number of element in A intersection B over number of element in B. So number of element in the A intersection B equal 2 and number of element in B equal 6. So when you simplify it, you get one third. So that's the answer for this question. Now we talked about the general rule for computing probability of f given e. Probability of f given e equal probability of e intersection f over probability of e. So this is the general rule. Now we talked about the intersection of events. If e and f are two events then probability of E intersection F equal probability of E times probability of F given E. We got this from the previous one, previous general formula. Now we talked about the dependent and independent events. Events E and F are independent events if probability of F given E equal probability of F and if probability of F is not equal to probability of F then E and F are dependent. Now we look at an example of independent and dependent events. Assume we roll a red and a green die. Are the events C a 5 shows on the red die and D the total showing on the dice is greater than 10 independent or dependent? The three outcomes 5,6, 6,5 and 6,6 give a total greater than 10. So, probability of B equals 3 over 36. If you simplify, you get 1 over 12.
So the element of C can be written like this. There are again six elements in C. 5,1, 5,2, 5,3, 5,4, 5,5, and 5,6. And in the intersection, there's only one element. That's 5,6. So now we use the general rule to calculate probability of B given C. That's equal to probability of B intersection C over probability of C. So probability of B intersection C equal 1 over 36 and probability of C equal 6 over 36. So when you simplify it, you get 1 over 6. Since probability of B given C is not equivalent to probability of B, the events are dependent. In previous slide, we calculated probability of B. We got 1 or 12. So these two numbers are not equivalent. So these two events, B and C, are dependent. So that's all for today. Thank you.